Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, to everyone out there. This is not just for amateur radio. It is partly amateur radio, but I've been using this as a listener, as a shortwave listener also a lot. If you are uh, like me, I like to try to hear amateur stations from, you know, faraway countries and... What I would do is simply go to the cluster sites, and I'm going to share three of them that are going to be actually uh, posting the link in the description below. Um, this is what I use a lot to check out what's on the bands. So you have the stations and the information of the frequency and the mode that you're using, uh, and of course, time and date. Uh, these are usually updating updated quite um, regularly every few seconds to few, every few minutes and it gives you the activity right now of stations that are registered on the clusters of you know what's on what stations you might hear depending on where you are usually what I do is I will look at stations that are close to me so if I see a station like W3 uh, this one might be closer to me than uh, many others so if he's hearing HS3 here, uh, which is Thailand, then there's a chance I might be hearing it. But you see here it says heard in CAs in California, probably. So this station is probably in California, West Coast. But anyways, whatever it is, um, you have an idea of what's on, what frequency it is on, and the modes, and so on. So this is kind of interesting. You have DX Watch. Of course, if you hover your mouse, you'll have the information of where the station is and so on. And you have DX Summit, which is a very popular one, too. Once again, same information, the countries and modes used and so on. You can click on a, uh, a call to bring you uh, into um, you know, information about that call. You see here it makes green temporarily green the new stations that are actually being um, logged and so on so you'll have the country you'll have the mode that you're using uh, and, and some details you have the call sign frequency and um, the spotter is who has actually registered the DX so you might for example see me here in the DX I show up sometimes from some of the cluster uh, spotters and you have DX Fun Cluster, which I like also. Uh, you can choose a language here on the upper left because by default it is Spanish. And also another cluster website. You can hover over, it tells you where it is. You can click on it, brings you to Cura's Ed page. You have more details and so on. So um, three places you can check out. Um, you can choose your favorite. And it's fun because you can chase countries. Uh, like that you can check out what countries they are from and see if you can hear them on your radio and if you're a ham like i am well it gives you an incentive to look at what's there maybe work a new country or simply work a station that is in a country we don't uh, have a lot uh, of uh, stations that you might talk about or talk to sorry so for example here there's oman uh, 14223 be interesting to go and see if i can hear it and maybe contact him or not. So usually what you have is the first station on the left is the station that made the contact. The station on the right is the contact or the DX station they want to mention or talk about. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. And uh, all three links are in the description below.